My lecture about uh, alternatives to most surgery in lentigo maligna are uh, especially for those um, who are not most surgeons. Uh, and uh, are also for most surgeons because uh, most uh, micrographic surgery is tricky uh, when we are applying it to treat uh, lentigo maligna. Uh, that is because uh, some artifacts can be produced um, and some uh, malignant cells, some melanocytes can be confounded with keratinocytes in the, the margin of the tumor and uh, we can uh, observe some errors related with the, the technique. Uh, the way to, to do it uh, with a, a more accurate uh, way, in a more accurate way, is using immunostaining, namely with uh, SOX1, MIF, MIF uh, MLNA, or other markers. So uh, an alternative to this is apply um, slow MOS. I mean, uh, we apply the same technique with uh, MOS, but not with frozen sections, but uh, with hematoxic Oxidin, eosin, um, stained um, specimens. Uh, so this is a procedure that lasts some days and during um, the time we are waiting for uh, the result of this topology, the patient remains with a open wound. So we can prevent this by using the technique I described in my lecture, that is the perimeter technique. I mean, we can excise around the tumor uh, a band of about three minutes millimeter wide, uh, then close the wound, uh, the tumor remains um, in the, the original place, and that margin of three millimeters is um, analyzed, is marked with some uh, tissue dyers, and uh, is processed and um, studied by hematoxylin eosin stain, and we are able to um, observe if the margin um, has tumor cells remaining, or if the margin is clear. And if the margin uh, is clear, we can excise by that precise site um, all the tumor. Uh, that prevents the situation of the, the patient um, uh, is uh, with a, a remaining uh, open wound during uh, three, four days. Uh, that is quite annoying for the patient. Uh, and uh, it's a, a good technique to observe the lateral margin, which is the, the principal problem uh, about uh, the completeness of the, the excision, because the, the deep margin uh, is um, not a problem because we excise it by um, the subcutaneous tissue. So uh, all the cells of lentigo maligna that goes through the, the, the follicle are excised uh, with uh, the deep margin. So, so the problem is the lateral margin. Uh, this is a useful technique, but uh, I uh, point out some, uh, some pitfalls about the, this technique, um, particularly uh, when we, after surgery, uh, upstage the tumor. Uh, I mean, th that's not only a lentigo maligna, but that's, that's an invasive melanoma, a lentigo maligna melanoma. So in that case, um, that can change a little bit uh, uh, our procedure because uh, in some cases, sentinel lymph node biopsy would be needed and if you have excised all the tumor and applied some reconstructive methods, that can be a problem. But uh, recent um, publications in the last years uh, shown that uh, um, previous uh, reconstructions uh, will not alter, will, will not change significantly um, the lymphatic drainage. So this is a minor problem. And uh, in our daily practice, uh, especially when you are not a most surgeon, uh, you can apply this perimeter method with uh, clear advantage uh, when compared to standard surgery because with this method the clearance rate of the tumor is uh, higher.